short and sweet video for you guys today looking at the Dometic CFX 355IM, the Dometic PLB power bank, and looking at power consumption. How long will this fridge run in the absolute dead of summer running off of this power bank? This isn't a video about specs and features and what these products are, so hopefully you have a little bit of background if you're looking at this video. If not, I will have more to come as I use these products. This is just a quick first impressions look, real world use at how does the fridge run off of the power source and what kind of life will that give me? Let's take a look. All right, so this is a 2015, or no, sorry, 2017 Super Crew F-150. Back seat, again, the Dometic 55 CXX. CFX3 55IM. That's the model back here. So you can basically see, I can flip up the 60, uh, kind of see, 60 40 bench seat here, leave the big side down, got room for two kids, pull the small side up, and the Dometic fits great. It actually will fit a lot closer to the seat than it looks like here. Um, I have the PLB tucked down in there, which is part of the reason I have the seats configured the way I do right now. But obviously you just need room for the top. Um, I just grabbed random stuff out of the house. We got some watermelon, some beer. I have some ice packs in there just to kind of take up some room. So I didn't want to test the power um, with the Dometic completely jam-packed full, but I didn't want to test it empty either. So basically the way that the setup is, like I said, it's just going to be in there all weekend, and I'll go take a closer look at the power setup now from the other side. All right, so I'm back in on the other side, obviously. Fridge here, I have... The power cord is on that lower side there. It's running around and running on DC power to the Dometic PLB. We'll be taking a closer look at all these items later for sure. So it's pulling power from this DC. I have this AC power here, which is feeding power in to the PLB, but only when I'm running my truck. So essentially I wanna see how long can this fridge run off of the PLB and the PLB will be just barely supplemented by when the truck's running, it'll be pulling power from that. So essentially it'll gain some charge. That said, I'm only planning on, I bet this truck will be running for, oh, less than an hour in the next two days. So I'm really curious of looking at all weekend, seeing how much power this pulls, how long the PLB lasts, with essentially only being supplemented for an hour at the most while the truck's running. So. As it stands right now, it is the 4th of July. It is 10.50 in the morning. Just turned everything on right now for the first time. Have the Dometic set up to 39 degrees. Actually, let me fire up the app really quick. All right, so here is the app, um, the CFX3 app for the PLB. You can see the current temperature is actually 34. This was pre-chilled. Um, like I said, it was, it's was. it been running inside for the last five days or so. I have it set to 39. I have noticed that um, I actually had it to 37 previously, which is why it's been a bit colder. But whatever I have this temp set at, the actual temperature shows about three degrees less. So I'm not sure if the thermostat in there is just running colder or what the difference is. But basically, if I set it at 39, I think we'll see shortly here, it'll be at 36, 37. I've had it at 37 and it's been at 34. So about a three degree difference. You can see um, the power consumption here. Let's look at the day, week view. Oh, that's actually interesting. I'm new to the app. So one thing you'll notice here is that it says it's running off of DC power. It's getting 13.4 volts. Again, that's from the PLB. It looks like the history graph resets. Um, I've had it on AC power for the last five days. Since I just slipped to DC, it's resetting everything there. So. It'll show me a temp graph, amp hours graph there on the right, current temperature. So again, 10.50 in the morning. I will check in later, we'll see how this guy does. All right, so 408, I think the last time we checked was about 10.30. Um, been in and out of the cooler probably four or five times. Uh, we just got back from the pool. We were on the road driving for maybe a total of 30 minutes. So. The PLB received power from the truck for 30 minutes. Otherwise, the cooler's been pulling power from the PLB the whole time. And it's at 93%. One slick thing is you can see how it's showing this battery represents the PLB. It's taking power out or pushing power out. When the truck is on and it's taking power in via AC, it shows it both ways. So it'll show that 
yes, the PLB is taking charge and then it's also sending power out to the cooler. So again, uh, 10.30 to a bit after four, so five and a half hours, a little bit of a charge, 93%. It has been, like I said, hot, like 90s for sure. Um, let me get the app going. So you can see there, current temp is 37. It's set to be 69, or 39, sorry. So again, another situation where it's running a bit cooler, or at least the thermoset says it is an actual temp. And then here, if I can get rid of the glare, you can see some of the graph there. So showing the temp, it's never been above uh, 39. Actually, it's been a bit below. And then those amp hours, it's showing like, like that peaks at 1.4. Man, that seems awfully low to me. Um, so we'll see, but just want to check in with an update on the CFX 55 IN. All right, so we're basically at the 24 hour mark, roughly there. Uh, it's now Sunday, as uh, mentioned in the last update. Been running things, so it's been over here overnight. It's been, it's already like 85 um, in the shade. It's in the morning, grab the PLB here. Let's see what kind of power we're at. 44%. So, basically 24 hours in, a uh, little under half power on the PLB. I know Dometic basically says you can run roughly 48 hours. Obviously, there's going to be big variability based on ambient temperature, things like that. It's been, as I said, in the 90s um, all day yesterday. So, I mean, in the closed vehicle, it's got to have been 100 plus. So, that's pretty good. I mean, um, it'd be great to get through a full weekend on a charge. I think that's doable depending on your ambient temp, obviously even depending on the cooler temp. Um, and then clear if you can run the vehicle, that's going to help. So 24 hour check-in, 44%. We'll be sure to check back later. All right, update on day two, 7.40 p.m. Again, we started 10.30ish a.m. yesterday. The Dometic CFX3 55IM. Powering off of the Dometic PLB. Get a quick power check. 24%. So it be interesting to see if it basically makes it 24 hours. Again, lots of heat today. Temps in the 90s. Uh, the truck was closed up, so honestly, 100 plus degree temps inside the truck. See where we're at tomorrow. All right, so 6.10 a.m. on the 6th, we started somewhere around 10, 10.30 a.m. on the 4th. Dometic, CFX, 3.55 a.m., running off of the Dometic PLB. And we'll give this a check after the overnight. 2%. And you can see batteries flashing. Excuse me. So it doesn't look like we're going to make it the full 48, uh, which honestly, for the weather conditions, doesn't shock me. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and pull it here. Essentially made it 44-ish hours uh, in midsummer heat. Again, it's been basically 90, 95 every day inside the truck, obviously 100 plus. I've kept the fridge on 39 degrees, which is what Dometic recommends. And that's an example of real world life, power, battery life running off of the PLB. Got basically 44 hours.